Hey, today we decided to make second video about military food from different countries and in this episode MRE from Ukraine and Poland. In the previous episode we showed you packs which were only for one time eating. This time we have huge and heavy sets that should last for soldier for 24 hours. We had hard time to decide which packet to open first, that's why we asked Cookie to make a decision. Choice is done, let's go! Inside we have three packs with writings, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Let's look what we have for breakfast. Wow, not bad! Cookie, why are you exposing us? Alright, here's the set with main course in a package. We have here rice, porridge with meat. Next we have Ukraine biscuits, instant coffee, sugar, salt and spoon. On spoon you ask to point out whether it's sturdy and reliable. Right, this one is uh, steady, mm, to be honest. Then our biscuits, uh, looks delicious. But compared to Russian, I enjoy them more. So there is a good portion of rice with meat. But how can we heat it? Maybe we gotta heat in our hands or using warm cat. Cold porridge is very hard. Alright, let's make an exception. Perhaps suppose soldier have a microwave in trench. When porridge is heated, it started to look way more tasty. I see they added some veggies, carrot, even a lot of meat there. And not some fat or, or bones, but decent pieces of meat. It tastes not bad. Next we have natural coffee. Let's move on. Lunch. Wow, we have so much here. Two bags with main dish. Probably they want us to compensate of fake coffee. Well, what we have here? Some kind of soup? Wow, that's a lot. Though on a package it's written borscht. Oh, borscht, it should be red. Yeah, right, color is not the main thing. Let's state whether it's good or not. Here we have some various vegetables, small beans and again, pretty good meat. Wish there were a little more. Second dish is some kind of stew. Looks like a borscht with color, but different taste. Then we have this hard tack. Nothing special, just a dried bread, biscuits and cherry jam. Jam is delicious, we liked it. Make a tea. And that's how we get super filling lunch. After this portion of borscht I wouldn't open other bag. Next our dinner. Let's unpack it and hear similar thing. But most important thing is in the bag. This is barley porridge with meat. Tastes really good for me. Just amazing. Damn spoon broke. It's okay, because there are three in a set. Also, for a dinner we have hard tacks, but from white bread and this kind of honey. You can add it in a tea if you want. That's pretty much it for a day ratio of Ukrainian soldier. I will tell you my opinion in the end of this video. And now the Polish set. Also pretty big heavy pack. It's separated inside for three meal parts. Though bags are transparent, so you can see what's inside of each of them. Let's start from supplies. Here we have 10 this kind of paper matchsticks in order to set a fire, for instance. Three big paper towels. Three wet tissues, probably to wipe hands before eating. And six candies two types. It's not just candies for sweet, but candies with an extract of coffee, which is supposed to have energizing effect. 
and second ones are for health. It has vitamin C. Good idea. Next, three gums, pretty soft and actually tasty. Sugar, salt, tea and general garbage bag. It seems like for that. But most interesting thing is that Polish people put three toothbrushes, just crazy. And each of them are packed with toothpaste. Soldier just needs to put it in the mouth and brush teeth. Who is our little soldier who haven't brushed his teeth? Then we have this kind of peanuts in a honey glaze. And these crispy biscuits. Stefan really enjoyed it. Polish people, by the way, put not just one spoon, but a whole set of table curtsily. The quality, to be honest, like Ukrainian, not that good. Unpack it and here probably a breakfast. Right away we see this chemical heater for food. Similar to American from the previous videos. Looks like these protective boxes are filled with meat, rice and vegetables. Well, let's eat our breakfast. In a set comes a bag with water that we need to pour to a heater. This time Cookie recommends to go outside because last time American heater started to stink real bad. Alright, let's pour water in a bag and it immediately reacts with chemical, emitting huge amount of heat and gas. It was even hard to close it. After a minute reaction died down a little and we started to wait. Interestingly that emitting gas didn't have a smell. In 10 minutes food became pretty hot. Though the heater still was pretty hot, we were curious what's inside of it. And inside was this hard thing that looks like a cement. What do you think? What's this? So this is our rice. Let's mix it. And food have nice color and smell. See pieces of decent meat. Next open small can and see this pack. Then we put on crackers. It came out super delicious. Instead of pack, we spread some raspberry jam. Also in breakfast we have this probably energetic and nutritious bar that made from mixture of fruits and nuts. This white thing on sides, it is thin waffle sheet, so our hands don't get dirty. Also, we have two drinks in powder. First is this kind of granular raspberry tea. It tastes frankly not that good, like real one, but it doesn't need hot water. In second bag is a hot chocolate. Well, Polish have some decent breakfast. Let's see what do they offer for lunch. Wow, it's a chocolate with a high level of cacao. It's not just delicious, but also healthy. But that's not just it. Then Polish have this kind of condensed milk in a tube with a cute kitty. It's a liquid, but extremely similar to condensed milk that we got used to. Next we have a dish which they call pogret. Let's heat it up real quick. Because we already know that Polish heater not produces a smell, we can use it indoors. Well, what we have here? It's a liquid food which has vegetables, noodles, and some decent pieces of meat. It tastes pretty good. Let's make one more raspberry drink. Take these biscuits that we can pour with condensed milk, and our lunch is done. 
I feel like it will be pretty filling. Chocolate is already enough. Let's get into dinner. Not that big bag with dinner in a polish set. But let's look closely. This is something like a pet from bigger pieces of meat. Another pack of biscuits. It's actually very hard. When a soldier run out of ammo, then I think they can use it like a metal weapon. Then we have her honey. Despite that already it crystallized, it tastes in my opinion pretty natural. You can also spread it on a cracker and it will be yummy. Also they put another fruit bar, but another taste. And a tea bag. Plus, we had a pack of raspberry drink. This is kinda dinner. Yeah, a little small portion of food, but probably management of Poland army worried so soldiers don't overeat before they go to sleep. Alright, let's wrap her up. In Ukrainian ratio, pretty big, nutrition portions, but I felt like that food had too much fat, especially the porridge that I enjoyed. At least they could have included a gum after eating a food or something. In general, ratio isn't that bad, but still a place to improve. In Ukrainian there is a new president, and I hope regarding Polish set, yeah, it's a different league. Tasty and healthy food, a lot of drinks with uh, great heaters, a lot of goodies and small little thing. You can sense care and love of government to its soldiers, but that's not all. Only when we were filming last shot, we figured out that those things aren't tissues, but three big pieces of toilet paper. The length of about a meter. Polish people taking care of not only consuming food in soldier body, but also weight out. Meanwhile, Ukrainians should use a nature provided. Don't forget to subscribe and click a bell, so next video will come out a quick.